October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and while deaths in Canada are dropping, rates among young women are increasing. Some provinces are making it easier to access screening, but as CTV's Adrian Gobriel reports, one woman says she was forced to lie, and it ended up saving her life. When an Ontario doctor refused to sign off on a mammogram for 38-year-old Sidra Lone, the mother of four says she was left with no choice but to lie. She asked me, do you have a family history? And I just lied to her, said, I do. My two aunts have breast cancer. That lie finally led to a mammogram and a shocking diagnosis this past February. It's the aggressive kind of breast cancer. And when my oncologist heard my story, she said to me, you know, you saved your own life, you know that. Next week, Ontario will be joining B.C., Saskatchewan and Atlantic Canada in granting women as young as 40 a mammogram if they request one. In Alberta and Manitoba, the age is 45. Quebec is currently reviewing their policy. But at 38 years of age, loans still wouldn't qualify anywhere in the country. And if I would have waited, I would have been dead by now. A recent study has revealed that over the last three decades, there has been a 12.5% increase in breast cancer cases for women in their 30s. Though the doctor behind that research study still believes that the data doesn't support women under 40 without symptoms or a family history of breast cancer receiving a mammogram. But she does believe it should be about personal choice. We should not be denying women the opportunity to get a screening mammogram if they really choose to, to have that. In Ontario, the Minister of Health's office say by lowering the age of self-referred mammograms from 50 to 40, they will connect an additional 305,000 Ontarians to important screening services, ensuring breast cancer is detected and treated sooner. Lone believes more must be done to help women such as herself under the age of 40. I'm not advocating lying, but I'm advocating that healthcare system should look into my case. Since speaking out, Loan says she's received hate-filled messages from individuals claiming she jumped the line to receive a mammogram and chastising her for lying. Her response, we must raise our voices to save our lives. Adrian Gobriel, CTV News, Toronto.